What's up everyone? Just pre-flight the airplane, we're gonna pull her out. We're gonna go uh, IFR to Trent Lot, PQL, um, 8,000 feet. It's gonna be about 50 minutes, uh, be a fun one. So, come on. All right, it's rock and roll. Let's make sure prop cast open the tool set, lights are set, circuits are good. Standby gyro lights off, lights on, 5.5 stable, 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 ice and small, watch the peak, come back to idle, track it, good luck, clear, right clear, clear. Density altitude 1,600. Papa Kilo Lima. Or Quebec Lima. PQL. Papa Space Flight Plane Clearance. Frequencies are set 1525. Zulu weather. Wind 0, 1, 0 at 5. Visibility 1, 0. Actually. Density altitude. Cool. Tax site's coming on. And we're clear center. We're going to taxi to runway 09. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be going over to uh, IFR to Trent Log on IFR flight plan on file. We're going to pick it up in the air today. Uh, it's such a beautiful day. Uh, I don't really want to bug England on the ground and wait 20 minutes. So we'll pick it up in the air, take off 01 or 09, and uh, we'll be a left down with departure to the west where we'll pick it up. Just got radar thing. We can tune this. We're clear left, clear right. Clear left, clear right, and we're taking off 09. We're going to do our run-up checks quickly. So we're looking at flight controls. Up, oh, that's down, up, down, left, right. Flight controls, feel free and correct. Electric trim doesn't move, doesn't move, it moves together. None to your lights, or autopilot test, good, good. None to your lights, all look good. Cross check, that's stable. That's reading zero, that's set and stable and good. This is set field elevation 75 feet. These are both moving to the outside of each other. I checked them back there. And these are both set 267 and uh, runway heading. And this is reading zero. All instruments, engine instruments look good. All temperature is good. So we're gonna come mixture full rich. We're gonna hold those brakes. And we're gonna go to 1700 RPM. All right, we're gonna check the mags. I'll come back to 1000. Make sure you come back. We'll do a before takeoff check. Doors closed. Verify closed. Flaps mixture. Flight director heading. Go around. Trim is set. Lights are set. Defuniac traffic. Bonanza 1836. Bravo is taking off runway 09. Be a left down with departure to the west. Defuniac. All right. Make sure it's coming full rich. Our strobes are on. Lights are on. We're clear right. Clear left. I heard nobody. And I got nobody on the ADSB. Clear right, clear left. I see zero 09, that's all set, everything is set. Have a little bit of a uh, left crosswind, no big deal. Headings line, heels are coming to the floor. All right, there's the governor, and take up power set and achieved. Good engine instruments, airspeed's alive, 60 knots. There's 70 knots, we'll start to rotate. We're off the ground, we're gonna tap those brakes, stop it from vibrating. All right, there's our boy point gears coming up. And above 100 knots, flaps are coming up. Uh, Clear left, let's go left. Diffinia traffic, Bonanza 1836, Bravo's uh, making the left crossing, runway 09, Diffinia. And we'll go climb power. 
Okay, so we're going to go to the one kill the trolley. We'll work in the grassy area to south of runway. We'll make sure we stay clear of the access. Cool. He's working at the dirt runway. And the Foonier trap ends one eight three spots left. L one zero nine. Going to be departing the area to the west. Last call to Foonier. Going to switch over to a departure. Eglin, uh, howdy, Bonanza 1836, Bravo 1100 off of the Funiac IFR. Number 1836 in Bravo, Eglin, approach, uh, say, say your destination. Going IFR to uh, Papa, Quebec, Lima, we have one on file. Say your call sign again, sir, off of the Funiac spring. It's Bonanza 1836, Bravo. Number 1836 Bravo, squawk 4666. 4666 Bravo. And light come off. Cool, flaps are up, power set, gears up, lights are set, yacht amps on. Number 2, Juliet Whiskey, Those VFR altitude, your discretion. Mixture, uh, power gear, lights, and vent blower, we're going to leave on for now. Clap checks are complete. Number. Number 36 and Bravo radar contact two miles northwest of uh, Tiffaniac Springs Airport, say altitude. Position checks just past the 2200 climbing uh, 36 Bravo. Number 36 Bravo, Roger. The Duke altimeter 3002. 0236 Bravo. The climb is good. Number 712 with Steve Alpha going to approach the uh, Duke altimeter 3002 and the Cinnamon team 7000. I mean, hot's relative, 75 outside, and we're full of fuel. November 3, Victor, Bravo traffic, uh, 12 to 1 o'clock in 20 miles southwestbound is a uh, Skyhawk 8500 VFR. We're just waiting to pick up our IFR clearance now. There's some restricted airspace just south of us. November 2, Juliet Whiskey traffic, um, about 10 o'clock so in uh, 15 miles of northwestbound um, at Sirius 8000. Which is what I filed for and which is uh, what they told me I could expect. Radar vectors as filed. So. November 36, Bravo, reset, transponder, squawk 3025. 30236, Bravo. Alright, got 3025, 4100, climbing, uh, filed for 8000, so. November 36, Bravo, cleared to Papa, correction, cleared to Papa, Quebec, Lima Airport, heading 270 and climbing to Nina. I maintain 5,000. All right, cleared to Papa, Quebec, Lima via 270 heading and we'll climb, maintain 5,000, three spot. Oh, cool, we're about at 5,000 feet. And they're going to answer 1836, probably cool. You put a request in for 8,000. Number 36 Bravo, climb maintain 8,000. Climb maintain 8,000, three spot, thanks. Cool. November 3, Victor Bravo, contact Karen's approach 133.45. 25, and I'll advance manifold pressure. Server wing 6 on the traffic sound, 12 o'clock, 5 miles. Go around button, disengage the autopilot, and we're climbing. Number 2, ski golf traffic now, 11 o'clock, 4 miles, 8,000. Traffic 11 o'clock in one zero miles south. I'm going to shut off the cameras for a little bit. And, uh, it's going to be a pretty unpleasant. Number two, uh, Juliet Whiskey. Traffic 11 o'clock one zero uh, miles opposite direction. The airliner so climbing nice. so 8,500 and caution wake turbulence. And uh, we'll contact and approach one. Level here, 8,000 feet, got the power pulled back 21 inches, 2300 RPM, burning about 10 and a half gallons an hour right now. Um, going about 140 indicated, 141 over the ground. Um, November 36, Bravo, contact Pensacola approach, uh, 119.0. 19, nothing, three spots, zero. Havoc, nine. Hey, uh, sorry, I missed that. Say again for 147, take us. 87, Tango, Buzz, when you have the local weather for Roscoe, type first question. Uh, Roger, well advised. Pentacle approach, howdy, Bonanza 1836, Bravo 8000, 290, signed heading. 
Blue Street 5019, departure rate of contact, climbing yeah, so 3 1000. Yeah, I'm getting a 290 heading for some reason. Uh, that was not me. Uh, now it's me, 5019, uh, 3.543 heading 0 0 0. I don't know what to tell you. Nova 18368, approach Roger, altimeter 3002. 3002, is problem. Cool. Uh, yeah, so we're leaned out. Uh, ten and a half counts an hour. Like to see it. Um, the partial is 259 level 3000 heading 020. Uh, not. Don't get to go fast. Contact, anymore, so might as well save the fuel. So, so I'm in ten now. One zero thousand. We'll be there in about 50 40 50 minutes. minutes. All right. Uh, we just got our sent clearance. Um, we're going down to four thousand feet now. Um, yeah, just got our sent clearance. Going down to four thousand feet. We did ran the descent checklists are complete. Uh, once we were up in cruise, we pulled the power way back, so we were only burning about 10 and a half gallons an hour. We were going kind of slow, though, about 140 knots, but I'm building time, so might as well. Um, uh, we uh, got the weather in Natus and all that stuff, so we're going to expect a visual runway 3.5. That's what they're showing. And, yeah. Black Bridge 073, you mobile approach, altimeter 3005, say request. Black Bridge 073, request holding at squid, followed by an ILS to runway 33, followed by the ASR, then it's filed. Black Bridge 073, Raj, you can expect that. All right. Um, got Mobile over there, downtown Mobile. Cool area, super cool downtown. Uh, Mobile International. Maybe you want to go 108, turn right, heading 305, and. Stay my control. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Four, five, four, five, 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 it's cool. I've landed there a few times, and there, there's a ton of buildings with tons Beautiful of like Mike Fox half track. built Just Airbuses with uh, 320s with like no wings and stuff on them. It's pretty cool. And they have like the Delta Citation delivery. Citation 6 Tango no Tango, climb maintain 9,000. Okay, 9,000 for Tango Tango. We can load up a tower in here. Tower is uh, 1857. And we have the ATIS. 1613 sure. Zulu. Wind zero two zero at zero five. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature three one Celsius. Dew point one three Celsius. Clear Altimeter four three mic three box shot turn zero, twenty degrees four. left vector for descent. Yeah, that's really changed. Yep, there's a downtown mobile. Cool, cool place. Citation 6 Tango Tango contact, Houston Center 127.65, good day. 1765, good day. Mobile approach, Panetta 183, spot airport in sight. And uh, Lear 4, Mike Fox, runway 1818. Someone's not listening. In November uh, 36, Bravo, you got the field in sight, you said? Affirmative field in sight. Roger, stand by. Hello, departure, Citation 501, Tango Papa. November 4, Mike Fox, Shrike, contact International Tower. November 36, Bravo, clear visual approach, runway 35, contact Trent Lot Tower. Clear visual 35 over to Tower, 3 spots to November 1, Tango. Oh, the pod's coming off. Trent Lot Tower, Bonanza 1836, Bravo is uh, 15 miles to the east, visual 35. 1836, Bravo, Trent Lot Tower, report established on final runway 35. We're established on the final 3-5, three, 3-spot. Three, cool. So I'm going to take a little kick over here. So the airport is right there, and there's this road, that kind of squiggly road right here. So I'm kind of lined up with this road, and it's almost like a perfect base, kind of. Even though the road's squiggly, if I kind of aim, if the road was straight type of thing, so... That's kind of what I'm doing. Because um, you can see the runway right there, the tower and the, the open pouch right there. And once I get a little bit closer, I'm going to activate the visual on my iPad, or on the 750. And then uh, then we can go from there. Alright. Back. Procedure. Approach. Approach. Oops, not that one. Visual 3.5.
Load and activate. Activate. Go back to home. And we're looking at three, four, nine. Right there. Boom. The dude in the pattern, it looks like. He's a thousand feet below me. Looks like he's working the pattern. Come out here a little bit. Oh yeah, I got him in sight. Tower, Coast Guard Eagle 6053, right there. We're gonna come out here. I see him, he's right here. I don't want to interfere with that dude. 6053, clear low approach from my 35. Winds are available at 3. Clear low approach, 53, 6053. Hopefully, not just flaps. Pay checks. The helicopter, so. Number 1836 Bravo, safe position. We're about, uh, on about a three mile right base from May 35. We got the helicopter inside. 36 Bravo, Roger. Runway 35, quarter land, wind variable at 3. Quarter land, 35, 35. All right, put the gear down. Got it, coming on. Lights are coming on. Three green. Tremont Tower, spotter 268, Mike Echo, 5 Southwest, inbound. Factor. Hey, Mike Echo Tower, report to left base for 35. All right, we'll call you on left base, 35, or Mike Echo. All right, these are full. We have three green, one more nacho flaps, go out of pine, out of way. We're going to open up the cow flaps. And once we can get on, we can do the three green prop mixture flaps, autopilot, and yon amp, and Lenny Clark. 2836 Bravo, say type aircraft. Uh, Bonanza. Roger. Hey, Mike, I saw the Bonanza, even number two, they're about a three mile right base. Ah, yeah, got a target on him, we'll plan to follow the Bonanza. Bonanza? <laughs> well, before lines are complete, we have three green. We'll turn final now. Oh, I see that traffic. He should be no factor. And the helicopter's at the other end of the runway. He's just doing a little approach. He's no factor, too. Cool. So we have three green. These are full. Flaps are coming full speed checks. All right. Three green. These are full. Flaps are set full and all piling up. Wait, before line checks are complete, we'll turn off the odd amp. Variable at three. All these thermals are going to make it pretty bumpy. On the right tank. And we're clear to land. Hey, Mike, I go. We have the bananas on our side. Hey, Mike, I go. Roger, number two, on three five, wind three four zero four, clear to land. Number two, clear to land, three five, eight, Mike, I go. Six zero five, three, we fall on a Cessna, it's about a two mile left base. Make sure, five three, Roger. Thanks, looks a little bit more than variable at three. Tower 6053, traffic flight number 3. 6053, roger. We're in 35, wind 340 at 4, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 35, 6053. And 3 spots going to the FBL. 36 Bravo, right next taxiway, you can taxi apart. Right next taxiway, 3 spots. Alright, and we're taxi apart. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the little flight. I'm gonna grab a probably a $250 hammer at this point. Work clear left, clear right. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys there. Clear left, clear right, and after landing checks, flaps, mixture, couch, trim, light, and taxi clearance has been received after landing is complete.